CUW men's volleyball team is preparing for their first season as a program. They know that it is going to come with adversity and challenges along the way, hopefully resulting in positive outcomes to build on for upcoming seasons. This year we're going to have some challenges, one just, just scheduling wise. Um, we, we set out and uh, put together kind of a competitive schedule that we're going to look forward to in the future of building um, our, ourselves regionally and within the conference. So we're going to run into some, some uh, good competition. Uh, we've got 25 matches this year, uh, eight of which are in the preseason top 20. Um, you know, and then just some youth and growing pains. We've got varying levels of experience and uh, being a team of essentially all freshmen with uh, a couple guys stepping in on campus here to, to fill out fill out our roster of 11. You know, we're just going to have some growing pains as, as the year goes on. But um, we've already put in some good work. We've seen some, some growth and development that we're, we're feeling positive that, you know, the outcomes could be, could be uh, nice for us this year as well. Building a program from the ground up can be hard, and the Falcons are waiting to soar past all the goals and milestones they have set for the team and individually. It just helped motivate them in an attempt to perform at a high level for this upcoming season. Yeah, we try to let them know that um, th what they're doing is special. Um, you know, in our in an, in the country, there's only two about 200 programs on the men's side as it is. I mean, so these guys get to do stuff that only 200 other groups of young men have been able to do, and so. Uh, we try to we try to talk about short-term goals, long-term goals, short-term outcomes, long-term outcomes, and so uh, no matter what this year brings, um, these guys get to leave their legacy on the school and on this program, and we're we're thankful for that, and we're motivated by that. You know, uh, I'm looking forward to, to Friday night. You know, someone's going to have our first kill in our program. Someone's going to have our first ace, and it's gonna, it's going to be neat because no one can ever take that from these guys. No one can ever change that. So no matter the outcome of the match, we always have that, and it's. It's kind of neat knowing that going forward, we're going to have a lot of firsts and a lot of, a lot of things to celebrate in a year where we're not going to have the natural celebrations that everyone else has. We have things every day to look forward to that are milestones and our growth and, and things that to drive and motivate us to go through on that. The Falcons are excited to start the season at home, but embrace the tough competition in both home and away venues. Concordia, Wisconsin starts the season off with 11 of their first 15 matches at home, ready to compete for the first year in the NAC Men's Volleyball Conference. You know, I think a little bit of both. Um, you know, I think the, the road's good for us to learn, learn the uh, have the adversity on the road. Um, at home, it's your atmosphere, you know, normally a more friendly crowd and a little more, more uh, comforts. Um, I just think it's nice to have that many to, to really, from our standpoint, to get our campus to see that we're here, to come out and support and to learn the, fun, the fun of men's volleyball. I mean, the good of it is we're going to bring in some nice opponents and they're going to see some really good volleyball in here and hopefully we can start beating on that level and playing competitive matches. Uh, early in the year, it's going to be nice to be home, uh, not, to, not to have the grind of on the road while we're, we're going through some of those learning pains. Goals and expectations are important and freshman Isaac Glenn knows that is key for the team to work hard every day in practice in order to build a program. I feel like we focused in a lot more on um, the skills that we have and perfecting those and then trying to magnify on the ones that we really need to work on. Um, you know, coming together as a team and, you know, having the relationship as a first year program, I feel like we've, you know, come together and worked a lot harder to perfect our goals. Glenn has set personal goals for himself to ensure that he is ready to perform at a high level for his team this season. Glenn will start as the team setter for this upcoming match on Friday. It's a lot of little things like, you know, getting to the ball a little bit faster, um, placing my feet a little bit better with setting, um, you know, thinking smarter when hitting, um, but I feel like we've worked a lot, a lot on that 